Clean eating does not have to be complicated and today I want to show you what an easy day of eating clean and healthy can look like. Simple whole food recipes with everyday ingredients that you can find at any grocery store and less than one hour of standing in the kitchen. Exactly like my six week clean eating mastery program, but more about that at the end of the video. The simplest way to make a wholesome, healthy breakfast is to take one minute the night before to prepare it. Yes, one minute. That's what it takes to make overnight oats and it's super, super simple, absolutely delicious the next day and it's just a grab and go breakfast. So let me show you how to make it. All you have to do is add three quarters of a cup of old fashioned rolled oats to a sealable container. Also add three quarters of a cup of your favorite milk, any milk works, plant milk, cow's milk, whatever you love, and then place it in the fridge overnight. And the next morning you can top it with some berries and drizzle a little maple syrup over it and enjoy it. Now, if you work outside the home, you might want to prepare your lunch the night before as well. But even if you work from home, it's always a good idea to have lunch ready in the fridge because that way we just grab it and eat it and we make sure we eat clean and healthy and don't grab any unhealthy snacks because we're ravenous and we really don't wanna prepare anything for us. So let's prepare lunch for tomorrow, shall we? Pull out your Instant Pot to cook some quinoa or check out my guide on how to cook quinoa on the stove. Add one cup of quinoa and one cup of water to the Instant Pot because that's the minimum necessary to get it to pressure. And then place a trivet into the pot as well and add two large fridge cold eggs to it. We will only need one egg for the lunch bowl, but since I'm cooking double the amount of quinoa, I might as well add another egg and have everything ready for a second lunch bowl for another day. I love that I can cook quinoa and hard boiled eggs at the same time in the Instant Pot and it only takes one minute on high pressure plus full natural pressure release. Now let's prep the veggies. Get a Lebanese cucumber, a carrot, a handful of grape or cherry tomatoes and a small handful of parsley. Then peel the carrot and then julienne or grate it. Cut off the ends of your Lebanese cucumber and cut it into slices. And lastly, finely chop your parsley and set all of this aside. Now it's time to prepare your dressing, but be vigilant of your Instant Pot so you don't miss the moment natural pressure release is over or else your eggs will overcook. You wanna make sure that as soon as the safety pin drops, you wanna take out those eggs and put them in the ice bath to stop from cooking. For the dressing, you want to add the juice of half a lemon, one tablespoon olive oil, and sea salt and pepper to taste to a sealable jar and then shake it until well combined. By now your quinoa and eggs are probably ready. Remove the eggs immediately, as I said, after the safety pin dropped and add them to the ice bath to stop the eggs from cooking further. And now it's already time to assemble your quinoa lunch bowl. Add half of the quinoa you cooked into a sealable container, then top it with your julienne carrot, your sliced cucumber, your grape tomatoes, and lastly, your hard boiled egg. Then seal it and, oh wait, 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 I forgot to chop parsley. It's not complete without the parsley. Now seal it and place it in the fridge together with the dressing. Pour that over your lunch bowl only seconds before you're ready to dive in or else your cucumber and veggies will become all soggy. So do that the second you're ready to eat your lunch. Now for dinner, let's keep it simple but still super, super delicious. Get two skinless boneless chicken thighs and season the heck out of them. Here I have half a teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon oregano, a quarter teaspoon chili powder, half a teaspoon sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. Add the spices to both the sides of your chicken thighs and then set them aside. Now get a small sweet potato and peel it and then cut it into about half inch slices. Make sure they are not much thicker than that or they won't cook through. Now preheat a large pan over medium heat and once it's really hot, add a splash of avocado oil to it and place both your chicken thighs and sweet potato slices into the sizzling oil and brown for five minutes on one side and five minutes on the other before you add a splash of water to the pan to deglaze the bottom and also add a handful of green asparagus and cover the pan with a lid. 
reduce the heat to low and let this all steam for approximately 20 minutes or until the sweet potato is tender. When you plate your chicken, sweet potato slices and steamed asparagus, don't forget to pour the delicious pan juices over everything. It's the best part. And there you have it, a full day of eating clean. Breakfast took one minute to prepare, lunch 15 to 20 minutes and dinner 40 minutes. But of those 40 minutes, you didn't have to do anything for 20 because everything was steaming, right? So if this day looks and sounds delicious to you and you want to make clean eating part of your lifestyle, the best way to change your eating habits is to commit to that change for at least six weeks. That way you internalize it, that way it becomes a routine and somewhat of an automatic daily decision. After six weeks of eating clean and healthy, you will feel amazing and you can't even imagine eating junk food and processed food on the regular ever again. If you are finally committed to turn your life around, you can start today by joining the six week clean eating mastery program. And I have all the information you need for that in the description. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe I'll see you in the six week program. That would be so amazing. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.